guys, this video is about getting clear. And what I wanted to discuss about this, because it has been something that has been even coming up for me, has been coming up for me in my life, is that things seem to just get a lot more uh, intentional and easier to do when you get clear about things. So what I mean by this is we have many different kinds of negative thoughts that attack us about the different things that we want to do. What getting clear really helps us do is identify what it is that we want in any given situation, whether it's life or any specific situation. And then what we're able to do at that point is hand it over for guidance so that we can take out or remove the thoughts that do not align themselves with what we actually want. So an easy way to imagine this, which helps me, is imagine yourself as a hoarder. Okay, so if you've ever seen the show Hoarders, it's obviously about people that accumulate stuff over a certain amount of time. And when you look at their place, you can't really see what's going on. It's no longer a home because there's so much stuff taking up the spot. So think of yourself, think of your inside, your inner and your inner self as that as that home. And what happens is we pick up on these negative thoughts and we accumulate clutter. So we accumulate emotional, psychological clutter. And when we look around, we can't really see the things that no longer are serving us the best because there's so much stuff there. So what happens when you get clear is you say, okay, for instance, I want to get to point B. And anything that does not align itself with point B, I know that I need to remove myself, remove it from this particular situation. So it could be, for instance, you are trying to accomplish something, a dream. When you get really clear about it, you're able to say, okay, all these other negative thoughts that I'm having about it, like I can't do it or I don't have enough money or this is stopping me or that person said this, kind of tend to go away because of the fact that you're getting so clear with it. And what happens is in the second pro in the second step of this whole thing, after you're able to get clear, you can ask for the guidance part of it. So our, our inner guide, as Gabrielle Bernstein calls it, or the Holy Spirit or your inner GPS or the voice of love, whatever works for you, um, really comes in and starts to guide us to what is best for us once we set the intention for that. Because this all has to do with um, love and inner guidance, it doesn't come in like what we do when we feel like we need to help. We come in and we kind of force ourselves on things or on people. Well, that doesn't really work that way. What it does is it takes from you what you're willing to release. So you have to be able to get clear about it in order so then you can say, okay, take it from me and then show me what to do. Your doing comes after the fact that you've gotten clear and you've released it. Once you've gotten there, then it'll come in and let you know what is it from the situation that needs to be healed or needs to be removed or needs to be forgiven. Any of those things so that you be you can be able to begin to align yourself. So for instance, um, I was dealing with some thoughts I had about around businesses. So for me, I had some negative thoughts that came around that word actually came around money as well so when I got really clear about what I wanted to do in myself and I got clear about this is how I want to best serve everybody I realized here came the Holy Spirit and let me know well in order for you to do that now that you've gotten clear about it you realize you need to heal this because you've got this extra stuff going on for you and it's not going to let you get that thing that you say you want to get because it's blocking you from getting that from getting there because you've got negative feelings, negative thoughts that are surrounding this situation. So you're going to stop yourself. So nothing out there really stops us. What stops us is the stuff in here, that clutter that I'm talking about that you're seeing everywhere. If you've ever watched that show, The Hoarder Street, you can't even walk in people's houses because there's so much stuff everywhere. And it's an external manifestation of all the clutter and stuff that's going on in here in their mind. So it's the same way with us. We're going to start manifesting different things externally that are going to show that we have somehow blocked ourselves internally. So get clear about things, whether it's a specific situation. So if somebody upsets you, get clear about your feelings about why you're upset. It definitely helps you move very easily into the forgiveness and the healing part of it when you get clear. So for instance, stop trying to deny why you're upset. So for me, sometimes it's hard for me to accept that I feel shameful about something. That's a feeling I've noticed that I don't admit very easily, but it does happen where I feel embarrassed or I feel ashamed of something that has happened. Um, not anything particular like, you know, a mistake or anything that even someone will call me out on. It's just something that I myself feel ashamed about. So when I feel that way, obviously it blocks me from anything else happening because I feel ashamed until I get to the point where I'm able to say out loud or 
to somebody or to myself, you know, okay, you know, this is what's annoying you right now, that you feel ashamed about it. And now that you've said it, you can let it go and move on to align yourself with the things that are going to get you what you actually want because the shame isn't going to get you there. And that's the thing that really happens with the ego is that it clutters, it distracts us. And that's what it likes to do. So it sends us a whole bunch of stuff like guilt, anxiety, um, anything that will distract us from actually being happy, from actually getting the thing that we're trying to do. So the, the, the surrendering it over, the releasing it to the guidance system or the Holy Spirit is really important because this is the love part of it will immediately come in and respond and start trying to align itself to what you actually want. And then things will start to flow a lot easier for you. So I really recommend that as part of your spring cleaning uh, this spring that's coming up that has already started, you not only do spring cleaning outside, you do some serious spring cleaning internally and really look at the stuff that is cluttering up your insides it's really blocking you from actually living the life that you want to live so i hope you implement this this week i hope you take some time to get really clear about many different aspects of your life and always remember that you do not have to do this alone there's something out there waiting to guide you and to help you so pray meditate do what you need to do um, and get clear about your life so you can start living the life that you want to live bye and have a great week